<laughs> Hi everyone, uh, it's Dennis here. Welcome back to the School of Light uh, and an Image Breakdown. And tonight, uh, well, it's tonight here. Is it morning in Germany? Exactly. So yeah, oh my gosh. we are like opposite on the world. We are. I'm excited. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. Now on, <laughs> on the other side of the screen here is the wonderful Bernard Rauscher. Now, uh, the Image Breakdowns is a series in the School of Light where I am introducing you to light painting artists who I think will either inspire you, uh, that I think if you go down there, I call it the rabbit hole. If you go down the Bernard Rauscher rabbit hole, you will be inspired. You will learn things. You will be motivated to, to maybe expand yourself a little bit. But uh, as with all of these, I like to introduce our guest and introducing Bernard is going to take a little longer than most because um, I'm a bit of a fan. Uh, we we have been uh, we have <laughs> we have been friends for a long time, and I have many fond memories of meeting Bernard a couple of times. 2000, and I think it was 16. I came up to Germany for the photo Kina. Uh, we spent a beautiful night together. That I basically got off a plane, came straight and spent, met you for the first time, and then we hung out at the uh, at it was what was it the Olympus Playground. <laughs> Yes, it was called the Playground from Olympus. Yeah. Great venue. Oh, and it was so good. Nice party. Yeah, it was yeah. so good. Um, <laughs> and we, we, we hung out there. Uh, Bernard and I are both uh, Olympus visionaries, um, yes. which, which is something that I'm super proud of, and I know Bernard is as well. Uh, we'll probably touch on that a little bit. Uh, then we met again last year at the Light Up Berlin event, which was absolutely incredible. And much like at Photokina, where Bernard organized the photo box, he organized and managed for the full length of the event, this mad photo box down in a bunker with red light. And, and what happened is people were cir circling through the bunker doing light painting portraits. And there was this moment, mate, where I was down there in Berlin, in the bunker, bathed in red light, and looking around me were just some of my absolute heroes in light painting. Uh, none less, than, of course, than Sam Mass. And, and uh, oh, yes. Yeah, it was a beautiful night that last night. Um, Bernard is, a, uh, is many things. He is a tool maker. He produces a very, very, very sexy range of blades, which you're going to see. We're going to refer to it in the image. I'll pop one of the images up now, actually, that we're going to refer to. Mm -hmm. uh, so just so we know, this is, what we're, this is what we're talking about. So we'll come back to that. So Bernard uh, manufactures a, a, a beautiful a range of uh, light blades, which I've seen and touched. They're, they're just gorgeous. Um, what else? Bernard has a Bernard is referred to as Lumen Man, which is Light Man, which is super, super, super relevant because he has the the most comprehensive German language online uh, light painting tutorial series, and it's gorgeous. I, I speak I don't speak a word of English, and I was still pretty enthralled, mate. <laughs> 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 so if you're if you're German speaking, it's a no brainer um, to go and hang out there. Um, what else? I mean, uh, Ben is just a, a gorgeous man as well, and and that that can't be. Uh, I can't leave that out. Um, so, mate, you are everything. I think I think you potentially could be a much less grey um, German version of me. Uh, tool making, educating, uh, legend, incredibly high IQ, awfully. I mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the school yes. of light bernard oh thank you so much dennis I'm, I'm so excited and thank you for inviting me to your yeah. show and giving me the exposure and shout out and Pleasure. wow wow wow, wow. Pleasure, um, when your email hit me last week i was so excited and well, yes thank you so much and for the introduction i mean it's like Pleasure. wow yeah, well, look, it's, wow. a, it's an interesting one. It was an interesting, I, I knew I wanted to have you on because, because I think you have so much to add to, the, to, to this particular little series. We're going to talk about some other things. But I'll tell you something interesting, mate. It was really hard for me to pick an image, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> this image behind me here uh, in the water, my liquid light series, around, so as with all forms of light painting, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. And what that means is that there is no new technique in light painting. 
exactly. You know, Bernard was in the water well before me, creating water-based uh, water-based light painting images, even to the extent of going under the water, which I'm still trying to figure that out. But but it's so so, mate. Your your um, I, I nearly picked an image in the water, but. What I did instead is I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things for me. The first thing I want you to do is uh, I'm going to pop. We're going to do something a little different. We're not going to break down a single image. I want to break down an image series. Now, you were, uh, I was about to say lucky, but there's no luck in this. You, you, um, you created a series of images, and I'm going to start popping them up on the screen now. You created a series of images for Porsche. Um, yes. And what I would love you to do is talk us through uh, uh, in two, sort of in two sequence, two bits. Have a bit of a chat to me about uh, what it means to engage in commercial light painting, because that's something that you you talked about this at Photokina. So how how did you engage with Porsche? Um, a little bit about the idea that you presented to them about how to create these amazing images. We'll keep that bit brief, and then what I would love you to do is step us a bit through some of the challenges of creating light painting <laughs> around cars because the, yeah these are incredible uh, man yes yes yes, yes. Yeah, yeah yeah wow thank you Alec please so lot hit us yeah talk talk us talk to us um yeah it's perfect um the thing is you grabbed a sort of a commercial image yes right yeah. uh but a very, very important thing about light painting, what I think is you have to always balance your art projects and your yeah. commercial projects. There is no doing just commercials. I mean, it's it's always from from your inner heart. Um, it's it's always, it has to be art. It, it, yeah. there, there's no commercial shoot without being on, on the free projects before um, um, and doing things in, in the art field. Uh, it's It's not jumping right into commercial projects. That's what I think. And so, but yes, I was lucky. I mean, yes, you said there's no luck maybe, but um, sort <laughs> of, I, I call myself lucky <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah, the yeah, agency yeah. called me and, and they saw my free projects on the internet. Yeah. So that's exactly what I, I, what I said. It's, it's because of my free projects. They said, wow, we need this. It's an artist. They, they, they called me sort of an artist and they said, um, we have this series. It's called Inspired by Porsche. Yeah. And the, the very, very interesting thing about this project was that um, they didn't want me to do a classic commercial around the car. Yeah, nice. um, they, they just said, we have this car and nobody saw it before. So this wasn't ah. the time when I, when I shot it. It was super secret. So still, still like <laughs> and I was excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a buzz. And they said, uh, but we want you to do your artwork. We yeah, don't nice. want you to do a commercial with it. We could hire any of those super expensive Porsche photographers yeah. to do a commercial shoot on this. No, we want to do your artwork. And we, we don't want to mess up and, and, and talk about it. You do whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> so this was super, super excited. It's exciting for me. Yeah. And, and there, there was only one thing that I had to do. And uh, this was sort of, a big challenge because yeah. they said because the car is so secret you cannot go on any location with it <laughs> so ah. that was the big challenge yeah yeah that's yeah, right we, we ended up in this huge empty studio yeah, it, it, and yeah. the studio was called king kong studios and that's exactly what it was it was <laughs> incredibly huge like an airplane could fit in there yeah. and they used it for for a lot of big car commercial photo yep. shoots yep. and they told me do whatever you want yep. but do it within this studio <laughs> Okay. So, uh, so this was super interesting, and and this was one of the biggest challenges around the shoot wow. because um, I had most of the my my light paintings are on location. Yes, yours totally. are as well because yeah. the the location inspires you what to yep. do, what lights to use, what yep. how to light up the location, stuff like that, yeah. and. This was a challenge because the room was just empty. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, I, I could decide, do you want a, a white backdrop or a black backdrop? <laughs> that was like the only decision I could do. So I decided for a black backdrop. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It makes sense. Looking at the images, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah. And um, so there was only one, one sort of uh, location-based thing. It was the floor. 
yeah. so I decided to like um, yet uh, take advantage of the floor that's uh, sort of like it was not the perfect mirror but you could light it's, a little bit the yeah, floor. it's definitely so, uh, it's definitely shiny isn't it you know i'm looking i'm looking shiny at yes that's the word yeah, sorry I'm, I'm not a native english speaker so sometimes Mate, I your english your, perfect your, words. your english is better than my german <laughs> oh definitely <laughs> because i know you're german <laughs> Wow. So, so, um, so before we get into a bit of technical, I have a couple of questions about the setup. So yes. obviously, uh, did you, with it, with it, was there much of a time constraint? How much did yes. they say uh, you've got yes. two hours or three hours or? Uh, two days, actually. Two days. Yeah, nice. and That's good. It was enough time to really go crazy in the studio and try things out. Yeah. But on the other hand, um, I'm a light painter who is doing a lot of um, thinking work in advance. I, yes, I totally. don't like to, especially when, when there are other people on location and, yeah. and watching you. Oh, yeah. I don't like to be the crazy one trying things out that don't work. Yeah. So it may sound stupid, but so nope. I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm into doing mood boards and doing a yeah, lot nice. of um, basic work and, yeah. and tool building before yeah. I ever go on location mate that that is that's a great piece of advice I, I i think um you know i've done a similar thing and i remember being in the studio and just laying all the tools out i kind of knew what colors i was going to use and you test the brightness and you test this so that yeah because you don't want to be turning up on on set yes looking like a goose. And the, the thing uh, with this shoot that the big challenge was that um it was not about the pictures it was about the video what what they wanted to have as the main output of, of the whole shoot ah. because they they said um video is, is the, the new game on the internet and they Which wanted to have a viral video going on and not the pictures as an output um so uh, it was it was all about doing that video stuff and so i had to be really on point i, I knew okay it was two days but it would ah. be a stressy situation so it was not like um, that I could go there and try out and yeah, see yeah, what's, yeah. What's, what's coming up. No, I, I had to go there and really be on point. Now, I, I have a question for you about that. So, so we're going to be looking at the video now. So while we're watching this video, were you, because I'm a, I'm a, I have a video production company, so I understand how these things work, right? And the settings, yes. if I'm there with a video camera recording you moving with the lights, was that, that would have been a separate shoot to you creating these images here, the still images? Or were no, they, video, um, they the were thing videoing is you creating the still images? We, we wanted to have it really candid and, and really Which authentic. Is, so so we, we uh, the thing was, I briefed the video team what I was going to do, what the nice. idea behind the, the nice. shoot was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they tried to find a location where they could film me within the setting where they don't disturb the, the, the photography. Wicked. So this was a huge challenge, actually. So I had to concentrate on my moves and on the video, but I also had to concentrate on how the picture will turn out. Yeah. So <laughs> what Challenging. we did, and it, it was totally crazy. I mean, if we, um, what we <laughs> did on top, we set up three cameras yeah. on, on my side of, yeah. of, 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 of the game. Yeah. So a, a still camera uh, yeah. for, for the photography. A normal video camera and a video camera that I I exposed for the light painting to to do a post production on it because on, on some parts of the video you can see the light painting adding up. Yeah, beautiful. So this was a post production. Yep. Uh, but it had to be the same angle as the photography. Yes, so to match up. We really, <laughs> I, I set up a rig with three cameras, Whoa. very close together. <laughs> So this was, wow, this was so stressy because we did, wow, record. And then those three cameras um, yeah. were running. Yeah. And in addition, the video team was running around me <laughs> and I was light painting. And wow, it was, yeah, it, it, it looks so big and, and, and so empty, but it was not because there was the whole team behind yeah. the cameras yeah. and watching people, me. Yeah, What's he doing now? Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> and so were they, um, they would have been monitoring the images. Did you, were they, they would have been looking at them constantly or did they pretty much leave you alone to, to, um, it was very, very interesting because there was Porsche, the, the, yeah. the client of the agency, yeah. the, the agency itself and the video yeah. team. So, yeah. uh, three 
parties actually <laughs> and an assistant of myself my own uh, yeah. Ulrich Tausend who accompanied me to this shoot yeah. and then the first impression was was very interesting because I went into the, the studio with my car and they thought I would go there with huge lighting equipment yeah, and stock of boxes and what, what they were used to when, when yeah. they do car shootings. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. whoa, 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 big, 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 and just smash it with, with budget and do all that stuff. And I went into there <laughs> with two Peely cases, you know, those yeah, Peely, yeah, yeah, the, the, the hard cases. Yeah. And they looked at me and said, uh, that's all. <laughs> That, yeah that's yeah. all yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and so good <laughs> so mate let's um, um let's let's uh we to to keep these things reasonably brief so so we're set up we're in the we're in the in the studio we've got the car we've got three cameras set up you've got your light painting tools um so it's all it's pretty much all blades now you as i said before you manufacture your own blades i'm sure you were using those not mine um <laughs> can you show us <laughs> have you got there can you show us the type of blades you were using um um yes yeah i have some here yeah awesome i mean i used actually i used three different tools this yeah. was one of the blades yeah beautiful and yeah this is yep. my my uh, connector that yeah, just beautiful. fits in there yeah. so that's it yeah you just stick it in yeah. there without any any tools yeah and this is inspired by porsche because this is like the headlights of the porsche yes, it is too <laughs> mate yeah that, that's that's what they wanted me to to have some yeah some connection to the car yeah. with my yeah. artwork so that's yes. that's what i did and i tried out many many tools before i i was experimenting with four different blades and one yep. torch and stuff like that but it didn't work out so i yeah. i went to this shape yeah beautiful and yeah. this worked perfect perfectly for me yeah. and the thing is uh, about the concept behind the tooling is um i wanted to have the electricity shown in the pictures because it's an all electric car. It's, it's not, it. not a, 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 a um, fuel driven engine. It's, it's yeah. all electric. Yeah. So I wanted to have this electrical flow that was in my oh, head. So there's a shot. There's, yeah. There's one of the shots. I think now I imagine that it's where the, the plug, the plug plugs in. Um, and, and yeah. you've got, and you've got the exactly. light that covers up and the lights coming out of that, that plug. Yeah. There. Um, that's this tool here yeah now mate now just hold on a bit hold that there that thing is just crazy my gosh it is crazy but there's a it's a nice story behind this tool oh. because um it's it's sort of it's it's very very heavy it I looks mean, heavy and it's a, is it acrylic I, I colored it here with, with ah. the um the pens um how, how do you call them the the the, the uh, like a marker um, Mark the, the marker pens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marker pen, yeah. So to have this uh, bluish green color, yeah, yeah. and then I, I I put some stickers here that not all of the light goes out in front because it would overexpose the uh, you got expose it. the whole you image. You got it. And the thing is, the, the thing itself, it's not made by myself. It was made in the 1970s uh, for a science project. What? <laughs> <laughs> and you modify it and it just happened to fit into your or have you how the hell have you fitted that into your tool it just happened uh, to fit. the thing is i, I saw this in, in, in a small exhibition in, in in an institute here in, in munich and wow. uh, the guy was a friend of mine who who, who was doing the, the the housekeeping there and yeah he said yeah. that they're gonna turn down the exhibition in the next months and i said wow if this tool ever gets into your hands please <laughs> please i pay you anything but give it to me i want to try this <laughs> i love it and then he, he really he he, he just he gave it to me it. because he said they didn't wow. even want money they they yeah. they they they, they wow. turned down the exhibition and they yeah. they didn't need the tool anymore that's beautiful <laughs> absolutely and, and the nice thing about that image coming out of the power plug is that twist that twist that you get you've got there you can really see that you know there's another yes. image so one of the other images i'm keen to to that, that it could potentially be one of my favorites i do have a favorite but the one there's a side on one with what looks like a much longer tool it, it, it's got blue at one end and white at the other end but yes. it looks it looks sort of 
frosty and silvery. It's um, and in the video, I think yeah. we can see you using that one. The thing is, um, it is it is a whole. I don't have it here. It's big. I can see it's, it. It's in the video though. Yeah, around one one meter fifty. Yeah, big. yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, it's it's a clear tube, yeah. and it's filled with water. It's yeah, filled wicked. just halfway with water, so yes. the water can move in the tube. That's a, that's a great. And oh then my I, gosh. That's brilliant. <laughs> because because my my oh. concept was if i want to have anything that flows like electricity it's Damn. sort of a feeling like water so that, i had to build a, a tool with water yeah. did you is that something you designed and fit it into your yes. into your adapter no no not really it it, it, it was all special Separate. made Separate. yeah it goes into my adapter you're right but um yeah yeah actually it's my adapter on the on, on both ends the thing wow. is it's it's very interesting because um you get all kinds of textures and structures when That's you move beautiful. the water yeah and it's it's not that you get the same every time it's it's like yeah being creative with it so Gorgeous, mate. Look, I, I have a, um, the idea is to keep these videos reasonably short. Uh, we, we could break down every single one of these images to quite some degree, but I have, for the, for the purpose of um, keeping them short, I have a couple of questions for you. So one of the images that I need to know, so the image of the, uh, the headlight with the light coming out of the headlight. Yes. Did, did you turn? Did you turn the headlights on, then move the car, or have you drawn that? That's what you did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because they're coming right out of the headlights, yeah, so we couldn't wicked. even go that close to the headlights no. because there was another acrylic glass in front of it. Yeah. And what we did, it looks like we we sh did the shoot and then moved the car, but we did yeah. it the other way around. We we set up the camera and then we moved the car backwards into the image was yeah. the headlights on and then stopped exactly where we then, wanted it to and stop then did the lighting and then did the the, the, the the car lighting on on top yes all right, all right. Look, so we we did it backwards yeah here's what we're gonna do i don't want to be here for an hour i would like to be but you know yeah sorry I mean, we are only uh, we are already doing too long it's fine i'm gonna do something i hope your Watch audience it. doesn't get, get uh, they won't they won't because here yeah. we go here's what we're gonna do next mate I'm going to make, uh, as I try and do with all of these, I like to, uh, I'm going to make a comment on the images. All right. So the series blew me away, mate. Um, but here's some things that I love about it. I love, and it's really, I didn't know this, but when you mentioned to me that you were given a freedom and you were given the space to work, uh, you can kind of tell because there's a there's an, a beautiful energy through the images. I'm sure that's what they were after was that feeling of flow. I love the simplicity that you've stayed with two colors um, and you haven't overworked it. It would be so easy with these images just to go nuts and then backlight and underlight and this light and that light. I love that. I love that in all of the images, um, the car remains the hero of the photograph. Um, and the other thing, mate, that just leaps off the page for me, and I'm sure people looking through these images will agree, is that you managing, you've managed the balance between the light on the car and the light on the tool so beautifully because it's so challenging. There's, there's reflections are really hard to manage. And every one of these that I look at, the, the car, it has reflections on the cars. There's, it just, it, 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 it um, accentuates the shape in the car. I mean, this is a Porsche. They, they are my favorite cars. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and when I look at the images, I feel energy. It makes me feel excited. It makes me feel like I need to order one tomorrow. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, mate, here's, here's something. So, uh, I want to ask you a question. Thank you. Uh, but, but first of all, thank you so much. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a great honor to to hear what you feel and think about those images from oh. another super high level light painter oh, like you are. Mate, so hey, this hey, is like, you know, wow, it's a big honor. Thank you so mate, much. They, it's, oh, look, it's, my, it's my pleasure. You, you, um, you know, pe people will, one of the things that I will ask people to do next, but I need to ask you a question. Let's say, let's say that someone wants to, uh, you know, it's tempting for me to ask you to give us some advice about light painting cars, but there's a million tutorials out there on how to light paint a car. I mean, you'd get a car and go yeah. and point some light at it. If you 
I would like to ask your advice for people that are, and this is, this is probably for people that are a little more experienced in light painting. Um, there is a really nice on loom on the lumen man Academy. There is a, you've done a little section, a, a video on uh, doing commercial light painting, but if someone is a, considers themselves to be a, a, a talented light painter. And I refer back to a comment you made earlier that, um, no, no, I'll ask you, what's a, what's a piece of advice you would give someone who, who wants to take their light painting to the next level and maybe make a bit of money from it? Oh yes. Great question. Great yeah. question. Because yeah. this is really, this is maybe useful for our community because we have so yeah. many talented light yeah. painters. I, I know a lot of them out there, but they are not into commercial jobs. No. Um, so the thing is, I had sort of an maybe advantage because I did a commercial agency for 17 years before yeah. doing all that slide painting stuff. Yeah. So I know how the agencies work and, and the clients think and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the thing is, um, it, it's, it's super useful when you know about a classic photo shoot um, how the agency sets it up and, and how they want you to perform on this. Yeah. And then when you combine this knowledge with, with, with the light painting, it's, it's perfect. So yeah. it's, the, but there's one, one big advice if you want to do commercial work. Yeah. It's, it's sad, but it, yeah, it's sad, but it's only about 50% about your skills and your light paintings. The other 50% is about doing business, um, doing marketing, uh, all that stuff. And it, so <laughs> I know so many light painters, they do great work, fantastic yeah. work, yeah. but they don't want to market themselves. They, yeah. they don't want to go out there and talk yeah. to agents, these and clients and stuff. You like got that. it. But that's, it. that's the other part of the job if you want to do commercial stuff. Yeah, that, that is a fantastic piece of advice. And look, I don't, these image breakdowns are, are, are not about me, but just to, just to add to that, because I've done quite a bit of, pretty high-end commercial light painting work, a lot of stuff that doesn't even get seen. And, and just to add to that is, is when, when people ask commercial photographers, when, when the question is asked of commercial photographers, how do you become a co successful commercial photographer? All of the same rules apply to this. It's, it's yes. exactly as you say, it's, it's about um, uh, understand, you know, being a great commercial photographer is is really it's 10% knowing when to press the button and the rest is good communication skills, how to send an email, how to ask for the order, all of that stuff. But I, I refer back to something you said right at the beginning, and I want to really stress this to people that are watching. Mm. When you look at, when you look at uh, Bernard here in the studio with this Porsche, with a TV crew, with, a, with people from the agency, with the client there, the reason and the way that you pull off a job like this really well is that you are super, 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 super keyed up on what it is you're doing. So you would never go into a commercial shoot without knowing exactly what you're doing with your tool. Now, if you're not, if you don't, you know, but people think oh, I'm getting paid to go and spend a day on the shoot. You're not. You're getting paid for the years and years and years of practice of knowing, because when you walk into the studio and then all of a sudden you realize, oh shit, man, the settings are not quite right. You need to be able to think on your feet and quickly make a change because the client's not going to sit there and go, oh, well, that's okay. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not. They're gonna go, dude. Yeah. You need to get your shit together, quick, smart. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Hey, Bernard. Look, I, you and I are gonna be doing a couple of these. I got, I've got another couple of ideas. We could do a whole video on commercial uh, light painting. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I think, I think as light painting is becoming more and more popular uh, globally and more recognised, th there is a market for it, mate. Look. For everyone that is uh, watching this, I hope you enjoyed that little snapshot of, of uh, creating a, a truly, genuinely commercial uh, light painting set of images. And Bernard, they're stunning. You, you, um, I want to encourage everyone down in the links below, there's going to be a bunch of links. If you're German speaking uh, and you're into light painting, you need to go and, and join uh, the Lumen Man Academy, Light Man Academy. Um, 
spend some time hanging out with uh, Bernard there. Go and have a look at his, at his beautiful set of. Now, I just a point on your on your light painting tools, uh, and this is always interesting because I make light painting tools. But yes. one of the things I love, mate, about holding your blades is when you hold that connector and you click those blades in there and you apply a torch to it. There is a level of quality. Uh, to your tools that that far exceed anything I manufacture, and I would highly recommend if you are serious about your blading, adding adding a, a lumen. Do you call them lumen man blades? Yeah, lumen man tools and lumen, lumen man blades. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Add go and go and add a, one or two to your kit. You can't go wrong. And um, but, but when we're talking about blades, we, sorry, I have to really mention one guy out there, and I know you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. It's Patrick Monchon. Oh, no, yeah. I always, we, we have to give a shout out on him yeah. because he was the first one to ever building blades. And I'm, I'm so thankful for his ideas and yeah. that we all picked up in the world right. and, and yeah. building our tools based on his ideas. That is, yep, that is so true. And we, uh, I'm doing a series coming. Oh, we'll talk about it after. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be doing another thing. Um, yeah. I, have I missed any? I don't think I've missed anything there. No, you are you are just a delicious you are a delicious human being and I and I, I cherish thank you, you so much so much. Thank you everyone for joining us again at the School of Light. Thank you, Bernard, for joining us all the way from the other side thank of the you. world. Peace. Thanks thank everyone. Thank you. See, Dennis. I'll, see, I'll see you again soon. Thanks everyone. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.